Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of the Bree Sports Center. I'm your host Bradford Ambrose, alongside me Wayne Epps Jr. and Haley Thompson, sports editors at the Breeze. And today, Wayne, we're going to start off with uh, football. They uh, won against UNC Charlotte 34-7 to this past Saturday. Uh, the beginning of the game, first 30 seconds, UNC Charlotte won, but uh, JMU didn't allow them to score the rest of the game. Right. Yeah, uh, first, very first play of the game, the opening kickoff. Uh, true freshman Kobe Branch dropped the kickoff and Charlotte picked it up. And um, two plays later, they, they brought, took it in for a touchdown. So they had a, that early 7-0 lead. But uh, from there on, it was all GMU. It was 34 uh, nothing from there on. So we got the 34-7 win. Um, and, you know, Charlotte is, of course, their first year of football, and uh, they're still an improving team. Uh, of course, a young team when it's the first year of football. Um, but I feel like JMU had their, first, their, their best complete performance of the, of, the, of the season so far. Um, they didn't allow any big plays, which has plagued them all season. Um, they played good defense all year, but the big plays here and there have uh, allowed other teams to score. Um, but other than that, that opening fumble, you know, they didn't uh, allow any other points for Charlotte and they didn't allow any big plays. For, um, their biggest play uh, was a 23-yarder, and that's it. So, um, you know, they had their most complete performance. They, they mixed the pass and run very well as well. So uh, Daquan Scott, again, had another 100-yard rushing game, 176 yards this game. Uh, he's on pace to break Rodney Lander's uh, single-season rushing record by nine yards. So he's doing 148.2 per, per game. So um, he's having probably one of the best season of his career so far. Um, so, you know, Jamie's looking good so far going to conference play. Uh, of course, conference play is always a different animal, and we'll, we'll really see what they look like this, this week against Delaware. But, um, you know, very, very uh, good results from the Dukes this week. All right, and uh, Haley, now we're going to switch gears and talk about field hockey. They are 5-3 and three overall. Uh, yeah, they're actually four and zero at home and one and three away. Um, so they've been having a really interesting season. They don't open up conference play until this Sunday. Uh, their first game is against William and Mary, so and it's away. So it'll be interesting to see a with it being their first conference game and b being away how it is. Um, Taylor West is the star of the team. This this week she got her second um, CAA weekly honor, um, and then she also has ten of the team's twenty nine goals. So clearly, I mean all hoping she doesn't ever get injured. Um, so, yeah, it'll just be interesting to see how they do against William Mary this week. I think they'll come out with a win. But. All right, uh, Wayne, let's talk about uh, women's soccer. They are 7-3 and three overall. Right, uh, they kind of got the season on track finally. Um, they won four straight. Uh, they're coming off a 2-0 win over Longwood on Sunday. Uh, shot them out um, down at, uh, at Longwood, so uh, they're playing really, really well. Um, they're back on track. They got have Richmond and Sal this weekend, uh, so we'll see if they can keep it up, keep the win streak up. So, um, you know, really looking good. Ashley Herndon had uh, CA Rookie of the Week last week, so um, again, they're having one of the best performances in the, in the conference so far. Even though they they haven't started conference play yet, but um, really doing good things. All right, and uh, how's the men's tennis team doing? Right, they had uh, two doubles wins at uh, their first uh, fall season tournament this past weekend. So uh, just like women's tennis, they're getting off to a pretty good start. So uh, again, we'll see how they, they do down the stretch. So. All right, um, and we're going to wrap up today's show by talking, by previewing uh, football's, uh, JMU's football game this coming weekend. They're going to head up north to the University of Delaware and take all the Blue Hens mm -hmm. to begin their CAA play. Uh, talk about that matchup. Right, Jamie hasn't played Delaware since uh, 2010, so um, it's been a little, bit, a little while since we uh, faced the Blue Hens. But uh, uh, again, they're coming off the best performance of the season this past weekend. Uh, it's, it'll be different to see, I guess, I guess a more um, formidable opponent, a conference opponent this weekend to see if they can get that balanced offensive attack going and uh, have as good of a defensive showing as they had last weekend. So uh, we'll see. It'll, it'll be definitely tough. Um, We'll see if they have maybe DeAndre Smith back for a, a wide receiver. Uh, we had Quinn Hunter back this past weekend. He, he definitely had, was a spark. He scored the only passing touchdown. Uh, so, and, uh, uh, I think I think is finally getting to a rhythm. Uh, you, you again, think he still he still hasn't started that many games in his career. It's only his true sophomore year, so he's still learning and improving each year. I think uh, all the things that have happened. It's not like he's been a starter for a while, but he's still learning each game. So I think he's finally getting to a rhythm. And of course, Daquan is tearing things up. So. Uh, we'll see how they do. All right. Thanks, guys. And thank you for joining us on this edition of the Breeze Sports Center. I'm Bradford Ambrose.